Hi, I'm Kuhn and today I'm going to talk about uh, filaments. So this is the filament you buy for 20 euros a kilo at the store or on a, online. And it's great for if you just want to print some small things. However, when I want to 3D print, I want to make big stuff and have the mechanical properties of the material in my own hands. So for that reason, I'm making my very own extruder to turn my own plastic into filament. As you can see in the parts, they are a bit different than the machines other people buy on YouTube or the commercial ones you can buy. This mostly because like uh, the drill bit is really tiny. So this is, this is useless, we, we can't use it. So for that reason, I bought the biggest drill bit I could find on, uh, find on the internet. So this is 32 millimeters, and this really helps to put a lot of plastic through the extruder. So I can make quite a bit more plastic when I want to. And this is of course very important when you try to pull it out and control the thickness. Yeah, so let me start building up the mechanical parts. I designed this all in stainless steel. I chosen stainless steel because I have some projects sometimes that sort of, well, I'm not working on them for more than a year, so I'm always afraid of them rusting away, and I don't want that. So for that reason, I prefer to use stainless steel. Not that I don't love my machines, but yeah, I mean, it happens, sometimes you're busy. Yeah. So I just want to check if the width is the same at the top as at the bottom. It is. You really get good at putting these nuts in. But let me talk about the drill bit. Um, it just goes in here, very easy, and uh, I have this bearing here which sort of keeps it in place. So now if I have this, the force of the plastic coming out, uh, pushing on the drill bit, I can just rotate it and it keeps in place. So there's no wibbly wobbly stuff going on here, it sort of stays in place. The plastic comes out of the drill bit here and then oh, uh, it goes through the nozzle. I've had a test run where I've used this nozzle and as you can see it's still covered with plastic. This is because this was very hard to clean and when I was trying to clean it uh, I sort of broke one of the filters I've made in this one and I thought yeah it's, it's better if I just throw it away and, and, and make a new one. So uh, that's well, I'm very happy that these things are disattachable. I've uh, used the lathe and make this small one. Uh, I didn't put a filter in. Yeah, you can just make the new ones, place them in, and they should work sort of all right. It's a bit too thick, um, so uh, that's one of the small problems with this one, but it's uh, getting cut down to size when I'm adding the filter. So. Here it goes in this. So as you can see, this is the nozzle. This is where the plastic comes out. It will be pulled out quicker to get the sort of even thickness and the very precise cont controlled thickness of the filament. And then this, of course, also needs to be bolted down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I really like nuts and bolts. I don't know why. So that's the nozzle side. Now we have here, the motor side. For this I used a windshield wiper motor. Uh, it's from an old Volkswagen. I went to this old uh, junkyard where they have these old cars and I removed it. It works really well. It's 12 volts. It's powerful enough to sort of push the plastic through. It's not the optimal choice for, for these kinds of applications. Um, BLDC motor would be better because it doesn't have the brushes and it's continuous production and stuff is better. Or something with higher power rating would be better when we are compressing the plastic. So instead of a normal drill bit, we use a custom one which has a compression zone. So the motor, it gets attached to this uh, metal plate here. You need to bolt this down. It's like every design choice when I made this thing was, ah, oh, we can bolt it down, it's easy. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's maybe a bit too much. And here I have this sort of uh, bit which I use for the rotational transmission. Yeah, it helps with, with the alignment of, of the energy. It's very important to use such a thing because if I would directly uh, couple this, uh, there would be some irregularities within the rotational motion. It would sort of force the motor out of its position, which is very bad. So for this reason, this sort of compensates for that effect. And can place it. The last thing is uh, to put this sort of pin in to keep the alignment uh, when there's no plastic in it and it sort of moves. It's just to secure it on position. And uh, there you have it. This is the entire machine uh, or the mechanical part of the machine. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about the electrical part. So the heating part and the motor control. And we can do a test run after that. So thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe and see you in my next video.